Welcome back, audience. Happy Easter. I hope everyone enjoyed the first week back. Today, our first topic is our newly appointed executive director, Eric Drummond. Let's have a look at our interview with him. Thank you, Eric, for uh, allowing HBN to join you today. And um, we would just like to ask you a few questions and kind of get to know you. Uh, the first question that we would like to ask you is, as an executive director, what is your main role at Holt? The executive director, I, I think of in two different buckets, two different areas. One area is uh, uh, the day-to-day -day management of the school. Uh, so that's anything that can come up, whether it be facilities, operations, career services. Um, certainly there for any type of um, crisis that happens. Really anything uh, of, of any magnitude, the ED would typically get involved if it gets up to a certain level. Uh, the second area, uh, which is, which is uh, I wouldn't say more important, but certainly broader, is the strategic uh, role of the school. Where are we going? How are we going to get there? What type of path are we going to take? Um, and so that's much more of a long-term view. And so the EDs, or executive director's responsibility, is to chart that course, that path, to what the vision is of the school. That's certainly going to be top of my mind, complete the task. So the next question is going to be a little bit more fun. Uh, if you had one word to describe yourself, what would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I would say one word would be adventurous. Uh, throughout my life, I've been very fortunate to be able to, to travel and to do many different things. Um, now. Sometimes, uh, I don't know if you heard the old adage, um, the definition of luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe in that statement, so you have to be prepared when that opportunity comes. Mm -hmm. But I have been fortunate to, um, to have lived around the world. I think I've been to maybe 65 to 70 countries just kind of doing things on more of an adventurous streak. So that's the word that I guess I would use. Moving on to Module C, do you have any comments or anything you would like to say to the students? Well, first I would like to say congratulations. I mean, uh, walking around this past week, which is my first, first week, was exam week. Uh, it's, it's been quite intense. I mean, I can, I can feel the intensity. And you need to have that intensity because that kind of adrenaline get you over the, the finish line. So you get a chance to have a, a, a huge accomplishment that stays with you the rest of your life. Uh, and you'll be surprised how much it stays with you. It's, it's, it's really quite a uh, defining moment for you. So uh, uh, congratulations and uh, keep going because there's just a little bit more to go. That was fantastic. Welcome, Eric. We're glad to have you here with us at Holt. Next up, we have a pleasure of having guest speaker Robert Phillips, president of Innovative Finance, a foundation that strives to identify social attributes with investment opportunities. Let's have a look at our brief interview with him. Uh, so it's very unique and very special. Um, how would you possibly say how that contributes to development landscape? I think the development landscape is changing fundamentally. Uh, foreign aid is going down. Uh, entrepreneurship is increasing in development in this field. You have a lot of competitions. You have a lot, including the HALT uh, one. You have a lot of activities going on. Social impact investing is slated to grow from 50 billion today to 500 billion. Most important thing, I think there is a realization in uh, developing countries, the traditional developing countries, that they are not so much interested to be recipients of aid. That you know, they want to, uh, you know, have a much more entrepreneurial, initiative-driven, action-oriented innovation by creative ideas and so on. So that that is where I think uh, the future of development aid is, is going, and I think it's going to be a very exciting time. How would you say? What are the trends? That are <laughs> I think, uh, you know, as I said, this, uh, the m most exciting trend I see is that entrepreneurship, 
and um, initiatives in the areas of social infrastructure are growing. It's a very exciting um, time ahead because there's going to be more activities in the, in the, uh, the entrepreneurial level. But I would like to see in the future that that is one thing where more reflection will be uh, spent on. We have at the Innovative Finance Foundation developed a methodology how this can be done uh, by looking at what we call the investable attributes of different sectors and different causes. So with these investable attributes, at least I think we can begin a discussion of how to uh, how to promote more investments into social infrastructure. Well, thank you, Robert, very much for actually coming to Holt. We're glad to have you here. Thank you, Robert. That was really inspiring. Well, Holtians, thank you for joining us today. I'm Matthew, and this is HBN, where your business matters. We'll see you soon.